Uh, you have probably just noticed that uh, this lock here works uh, counterwise of what normal locks work. Okay, if you want to lock this door, you would not do it like this as you do in your homes, but you have to do it counterwise like this. This is basically how you lock the door. Uh, apartment right next to was empty for quite some time. Apparently they were doing remodeling and a little bit I will get to uh, details about one. Okay, so now I will unlock this thing here. Um, you see what is the upper bunk. This is basically where I sleep. Uh, and that is where the apartment is based, an apartment I have just indicated. And what you see here, this is up. Something else I will talk about. Okay, today I'm going to do it uh, a little bit this thing in reverse. Ah, oh, but this is how things are. This is this is a part two on, uh, you want to call that uh, death threats, and also on direct energy weapons that were definitely used uh, during this process here uh, in Grotniki. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I will explain to you who, how, and why. Um, first of all, the log that you have seen. This is just a one of the small things that uh, you know will take a little task from you every time you do it i realize that they have implemented many other things like that this was just parallel to many other issues uh, which i will discuss uh, not a big deal but you know um, it could cause in certain people it could cause under a lot of pressure it could cause anxiety and that could grow into completely other issues uh, it could be all kinds of stuff uh, under this circumstances people would difficult go about the stuff I did or if they would go question is how much they would manage to get out of it okay I am very pleased with my results uh, I did not accomplish absolutely everything but it's it's okay it's all right uh, it's it's like this in respect to apartment right next to uh, my right my right arm and I do exercise I exercise uh, my right arm is about 20% I would say 20% weaker than what normally is this is a stronger hand uh, this here is a weaker one but the weaker one is about right now i would say about maybe 15 to 20 percent stronger than the right one uh meaning that when i sleep on the top of bunk uh, the right arm is facing the apartment uh, that i have just indicated was empty for quite some time uh, meaning that direct energy weapon most likely uh, is being used uh, from that direction. Uh, there's also a possibility that um, I doubt it though, but it's possible. I think it's possible uh, that something like this could be also utilized from the um, from the attic area, from from a bow, because under MK Ultra, this is what they try to present. This is basically what they have insisted on. Uh, the case would be that they would there was an apartment over there on the other side of the uh, hallway uh, which they would use to get up uh, into uh, attic area and then they would play up there whatever they were doing okay uh, I however believe that uh, the realistic version is apartment uh, direction which I have just indicated okay what exactly happens if I go to uh, if, I give, if I give you an incident account, what exactly happened the other day? Ah, uh, to be exact, two days ago. Okay, the day before yesterday.
some death threats, obviously, I did play you the recordings. Um, threats, intimidation, and when I went to sleep, and I have not experienced anything like this yet so far at this place. They have done stuff because uh, I would not have sound in my ears. I would go to sleep and within almost like, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe just one hour or something, you would just start, shh, you would come back basically. Uh, this was another factor I was subjected to, you know, when trying to give my best to learn Polish language. Um, in the mornings, obviously, I would wake up, I would come here, I did quite several times, I have recorded this, that, that uh, it's stuff like this can be, it really is exhausting and you can feel it, you know it, but there is nothing really you can do. If you want to gather this evidence, if you want to prove that there was an MK Ultra, and you need as many proofs as possible, uh, and it's what I also I was told on MK Ultra, it's not easy thing, okay, you, you're gonna do this stuff like this, you're just gonna have to take it, you're just gonna have to take it, okay, so I did, uh, but now it's time to reveal more about this stuff. Okay, what I have experienced as the day before yesterday, actually, when I went to sleep, that I have not experienced yet. Okay, this thing will turn on somehow. Uh, that I have not experienced yet. Okay, that was a... Uh, how can I say? I My body started to quiver, and in my head, I felt... Precisely, I had the same feeling, almost the same feeling as the one in Slovakia. Uh, that's where the police officer have demonstrated to Slovenian police that with this type of weapon, you can actually even knock off people of the uh, sidewalks. Okay, if the person uh, drank a lot of alcohol, whatever is alcoholic, uh, I don't know. I don't know precisely what what gets affected. Uh, when you're hit with this type of weapon, uh, but the person would just uh, basically fell down, okay? And when I walked over that police station to request procedure for political asylum in Slovakia, in a city known as Humene, three months ago, uh, I was hit with that stuff, and uh, to me, it, it didn't do anything, but I remember that uh, all of a sudden, it's it's like a feeling that you almost kind of miss the step or something like this. And so I, I was like, what happened just now? Like this, basically. Then I was hit with that thing uh, several times. And then at the police station, it was exactly, exactly what I learned about this type of weapon. That is, it charges the energy and then it releases one. Then I saw it on the internet. This is exactly what this was because it was a sound. You know, and every time you could hear and every time that thing released the energy, I was like basically uh, lining up my things from my backpack on the chairs. And uh, I wasn't trying to, you know, fight with the gravity, but I could feel that it was like a <laughs> similar feeling to the one I have experienced just before I enter the police station from the outside. Uh, all right, so now I learned uh, exactly how this works. The day before yesterday when I went to sleep, after I got my death threats, uh, in my head, there was a precisely the same feeling. And what I realized was, first of all, I don't have a place to go. Obviously, I don't have a place to go. Uh, and I know these things. I know what I was told they're going to do. And so what am I going to do? What am I supposed to do? There's nothing I can do about. Uh, there's no place to go. There's nothing you can do. Uh, you just have to endure. It's happening. But there is nothing you possibly you can do. So I just continue to lie. Lay down. But on every... I don't know on how many seconds, whatever, it was like, brrr, and you could feel, and my body started to, like, you know, shiver like this, 
Okay, so I see the roommate walking back and forth, back and forth, uh, and it's also what I was told that would be the case. Uh, kind of a try to wake me up was quite loud. Try to wake me up somehow. He's a good guy, like I said, this is a good person. Uh, but you know, I was trying to say it in my head was like Hassan, please calm down, because there is bread brother. There is really nowhere really I can go. Okay, it doesn't ma it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, I am outside of this place here all the time. The only time I come here is basically to shower and to sleep, to get some sleep. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? Go at, what, at half one o'clock in the morning, what, to go sleep inside of the forest or what? Uh, not gonna do that kind of stuff, okay? Uh, this thing also came, is coming to an end. I did a very good job here and so, uh, I'm quite satisfied. I don't know how, what, what really, what, what exactly is gonna uh, come out of all this. But I can tell you, I'm really fit now. Uh, I'm gonna post a selfie uh, on a blogger so you can see a little update on how I look now. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what, what's gonna come out. Okay, I, I don't know. There are things I don't know what's going to come out. They had some really bad scenarios, but you know, I don't know. I'm just going to say I don't know. Okay, so uh, so I got up like I think it was like one o'clock, maybe something like this. Uh, first of all, I felt like I was rested. And this is another symptom. When you are hit with directed energy, the first impression is you wake up like a baby, like all of a sudden you are rest. Uh, because when you, when you go to sleep, but this is a normal thing, if you study sleep, uh, you get into the sleep cycle pretty fast, and uh, if you're exhausted, important also is to note that I departed uh, at about, what, 6 o'clock in the morning, something like this, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, this place for the hospital examination over there in Zgersh, and I returned back late. I returned back, I don't know, maybe at, 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 at 9, 9.20, maybe something like this. When I had, when I sit here and then this guy comes and uh, creates an incident. It's also important to note that this is also this type of issue, you know, is also related to other uh, types of issues I have experienced, other incidents. Uh, let's say I would go uh, look for the, this is going to be reserved for another video, I don't want to mix things, okay, but if I, if I would go out early, uh, I would start my day early, uh, it was all kinds of gimmicks uh, that they try to use to, uh, you know, to get, to obtain whatever they wanted to obtain from me, okay, so the incident and then basically this thing. Uh, in the morning, just as he promised me, uh, my roommate. And I will not forget under MK Ultra. I will not forget this. This guy, this guy is uh, is completely innocent. It's completely innocent, and it's very similar to a lot of other people here. Uh, didn't have choice in a circumstances which did not leave him with a choice but had to comply with this whatever not like it or not uh it was an individual who just was telling him and you're gonna do this and and yeah but you can do this but we can do this so this guy this guy claims he was i don't know in a, in a prison over there in a in a kaliningrad for like 10 years for stabbing a police officer, something like this. Uh, this is not true at all. This is just a fake dossier, fake uh, file is what this is. This is not true. This guy would not, this guy would really not stab anybody. I remember him from MK Ultra. I don't know what the issues were before, what the situation was. Uh, and under MK Ultra, he was like, oh, you know, oh, really? Oh, 
oh, and there was a guy who was just telling him, and you're going to do this, and you're going to do this, and then you're going to, and tra la 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 la. Because this is important to note, I am going to create about three hour long documentary about my roommate. And so, um, uh, a bogus scenarios, uh, the next day, what, what, actually that same morning, he said to me, and this was exactly what he said to me, and that, okay, okay, if I tell you the battery is working well, that means exactly this type of issue. Uh, so that's exactly what he did in the morning. He said uh, the battery worked very, very well. Okay, he didn't have any issue with the, with the telephone. He didn't have any, um, you know, battery issue, any, any issue with the battery at all. Okay. Obviously, I remember from MK Ultra what he would try to tell me, and you know he did his part as much as he can do. Okay, how much is it that you can do about uh, when you find yourself in circ circumstances in, uh, like this? Uh, basically, there is nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing you can do. You have to comply with whatever they ordered you. You gonna do, and if you don't comply with it, I will not forget. It does not only apply to him, it applies to other people, it applies to even to the building owner. If you do not comply basically with what they tell you, you will do. Uh, you are homeless, you are dead, you are worse than that. You are, wor you are worse off than that. Uh, look, they assemble, and this is what President, Slovenian President Borat Pahor was so excited, he was so, uh, he was, he was like, he had this crazy smile on his face, it was, it was like he was completely enthusiastic about it, about the fact that the system can actually assemble people uh, that will perform crime against individual uh, under such circumstances that you can just guide person into situation and then it can be done with him whatever uh, this thing could be also done you know in a in an apartment building or some other place uh, and the best about it for uh, for abusers for the criminals in this case KGB is a fact that this stuff can be done in another country if you have people enough high in the system that can trigger this that can uh, assemble the team and you, you manage to force the person uh, you know in a foreign country in a circumstances like this it, it can be totally done to you too uh, it can be done in any place and when I will not forget this when people disagreed with it this was a big big when it was MK Ultra, when this was done, they, they didn't want, there was many people who would not want this. They would not want to cooperate, they would not want to collaborate with this stuff. But when they explained them how this thing worked, and they saw it, and there were also people from the outside that said, uh, and then what what are you going to do? I mean, if you, if you, you, you have a complete control over an individual, you, you don't understand, one individual, there's nothing you can do going alone against uh, such a big apparatus you are you're good as that you're, you're blacklisted like this you are you they destroy you if you don't want to cooperate with them if you don't want to become part of their team uh, you go to another country this can be done to you at any country at any location they have teams like this already um, I guess this is what the new Soviet s system was replaced by uh, this type of uh, systematology. Um, so that's all I want to say. I am going to explain a little bit more about these things, more in detail about it. I'm just trying to explain the background of people who who did these things. I don't know who did these things. I do not know about that. But what I'm trying to say is that lots of people that are involved in this inside and outside they just do basically whatever you know whatever they were ordered to do whatever the, the scenario they have made that you know you're gonna do this you're gonna comply with this 
this, you're going to do this, 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 and this. But I will not, I will not forget some people that just, they told me this. This is how it is. And there is nothing we can do. But there is maybe something else that is not inside of the scenario. However, you know, that we are not prohibited from that we can do for you. Okay? So, my roommate tried to help me in his own way. He tried to find his way to help me out somehow. Uh, and so a lot of other people did. People are good. They try to help. But these are the circumstances. Uh, you know, basically, I have found myself under. Uh, it's quite damn unpleasant. Again, I have not experienced anything like this, like the day before yesterday yet. Uh, but this was really, it totally, totally, uh, it was a copy of situation in Slovakia, except that I didn't have to worry I'm going to fail anywhere because I was already in the bed. So there is really nowhere to fail elsewhere than, uh, you know, inside of your bed. So. That's what it was. I woke up, rested, like after one hour, something like this, with a false impression on how I was rested. Then I realized again, just that I'm a little bit more beaten up. Uh, and pretty much went back to sleep, got some more sleep, whatever I got. Um, Okay, to be precise about whatever I got. What I got was at 4 o'clock was it. So meaning I got about maybe... I don't know, maybe I got less than 3 hours. And then what it was... When you get this kind of stuff, then you just lay inside of the bed. And it's kind of retarded. It's it's totally retarded situation. And it's quite unpleasant, you know, when uh, on one side you try to, you, you do input, you do effort to learn language, you try to learn language, and on the other side of the wall you have somebody playing with it. Stuff like this it can be really irritating. Okay, this was the part two on uh, that KGB's death threats and play with uh, directed energy weapons. Two of two is now complete. Um, November the 2nd, 2018, it is maybe a little bit too late, uh, but not too late. That's all I want to say for this video. And take care wherever you are. Bye-bye from Grotniki near Roch.